I'm Melanie Gibbs. Today's passage, Jesus tells the parable of the talents. In the story, a master is going away, and he entrusts three servants with, uh, with talents. When he returns, two of the servants report to him that they've invested those talents and they've grown. And he's pleased, and he says, well done, good and faithful servant. But the third servant was afraid, and he hid the talents he'd been given, and the master is angry. He calls him wicked and lazy, and he casts him out to the place where there's much weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, the talent, uh, technically that refers to a measure of weight, and the new, uh, new International Version talks about bags of gold. Tom Wright, in the written devotional for today, talks about responsibilities that the people have to use for God's plan of renewing um, creation. He says that every vocation has responsibilities and privileges, and if we don't use them, they'll be taken away. Often, when we hear this story, we think about the gifts we've been given. You know, when Sarah asked me to do this and I was driving home and I, it occurred to me that I actually had to think of something to say, I turned on some music and the first song up on my playlist was a song about counting every blessing. That gave me the, the visual, the image of when I was a little girl and I would empty out my piggy bank and, um, you know, stack all my quarters and dimes and pennies and see how much I had. And I think we do that, um, we like to have gratitude, we think about all God has given us, and many of us probably devote part of our prayer time to, um, to thanking God for those. But we're not supposed to stop right there, we're not supposed to stop with counting those blessings, we're supposed to uh, realize that we've been given those blessings for a reason, and we're supposed to use them. In um, Genesis chapter 12 talks about... Um, Abraham being blessed to be a blessing, and we can be too if we're willing to put to use what we've been given. And isn't it amazing that God wants to include us in his plan to uh, renew uh, creation, that we get to be part of it? Um, but, but I know there's risk associated with, with standing up and using uh, those gifts. That's why the third servant ran into trouble because he was afraid what would happen if he messed up. Um, I, you know, often when I feel a, a nudge to do something or hear a call, it's not unusual to, to feel a little fear. Just sitting down right here, um, you know, have some fear about uh, what if I embarrass myself? What if I say the wrong thing? What if I fail? And um, depending on the situation, there, there might be... Um, financial consequences involved, or worse. Um, but the good news is that we're not in this alone. In um, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, Paul calls us God's fellow workers. He talks about um, the planting, that, that we get to be um, part of it. We can plant the seeds, but God is working in a way we don't see, and He's actually the one responsible for the growth. So when we have a call to step up. If we're willing to, um, to answer that call, we can be assured that, that while we have to use the, what we've been given to the best of our abilities, God is working there alongside us in ways we don't see. And ultimately, He's the one who will ensure the success. And when I learned that, um, it made it much easier for me to say yes when I uh, had a call. Um, something else to notice about this parable is that we have different gifts. Each of the servants was given a different amount according to his ability. And um, I think that's obvious to us that, that all of our gifts aren't the same. But it also uh, points out that the one who's given very little, just the one talent, he's supposed to use it as well. Um, he doesn't get a pass. And um, sometimes... I think we don't realize what we have are, is blessing. Um, what's been entrusted to us might be um, come from a difficult uh, experience, something hard we've gone through, or or a circumstance that that we uh, that frustrates us. But if we're with us, but if we're, with, they might bless someone else, and um, be our unique opportunity to be part of this um, 
renewal and, and renewal project that God has for creation. So I would challenge us all today to consider what um, what has been entrusted to us and how we can use it and listen, um, listen for direction on how to use that for as part of God's great renewal plan. And I pray that when we do uh, see the Master, that we each hear, well done, good and faithful servant.